okay uh, so hi everyone so in this video we are going to see this question good pairs okay so let's see the problem statement you are given an array a and b of length and each determine the number of good pairs now a pair a uh, simply a pair i and j is said to be good if all of the following conditions are satisfied that is the value of i is small than the value of j plus the ai is equals to bi and aj is equals to bi means the means the reverse of the two elements in the two array a and b are same right so this is the input format output format we have to output the number of that particular good pairs right and these are the input means at test cases now uh, let's take this one particular 4811 and 8411 now in this they have, there are means are basically two pairs the first pair is 4 and 8 because when you interchange the index you will be having this particular 8 and this particular 4 so 1a is this b is this this is a first pair right and when you interchange it the 8 and 8 become equals okay like only i consider this this is a particular 4 4 8 and 8 4 the i is small than j right the now a i is equals to b of j this is a of i and this is b of j and the second condition is b of j sorry a of j and b of i is also equal so we just increment it by 1 after that this is another pair this 1 1 and this 1 1 okay same conditions are holding true now let me tell you the approach of this particular question so let's take our sample test case 4811 second one is 8 4 and 1 1 Eight, four, and one and one. Right. Now, what we do? We simply create a map, right? And in the map, we are going to store the a of ith element and b of ith element. Here, the and is not the means a bitwise or something else. we are basically contain a we basically create a pair a pair inside a map storing the value of ai and bi right and when we enter our loop and or we can say that when we are iterating over this particular array first of all we do first of all we simply increment the value or we can say that the count of that particular pair which pair the pair ai with bi after that we increment the pair count of bi and ai so we just increment this one let me change this and we just increment this one and add this now what is the significance of this particular two steps in this in solving our problem okay now first of all let's say we have 4 8 when we are iterating over the array the first two element we get is means the ai is 4 and bi is 8 now when we receive this we increment so let's say uh, this is the this is the map so we increment 4 8 count to 1 now before incrementing we just have to add their frequency so uh, first of all in the answer we add its frequency which is 0 right this is for 4 after that we increment the value of bi and ai which is 8 comma 4 so we just increment its value to its frequency to 1 now in the second iteration or 
we can say that yes in the second iteration or in the second index of the array we get 8 and 4 right now we get 8 and 4 after getting 8 and 4 First of all, we increment the value of 8 and 4 in the map. So answer plus equals to 1. Now why 1? Because here we are incrementing it by its value by 1. Now this 1 indicates that before this 8, 4, there is a pair such that on reversing the value of the current AIBI, we are getting that particular value, which means that the current AI and bi value if we change their index like 4 is up and 8 is down we are getting a particular value which will indicate that there exists a pair with this particular ai and that particular ai such that they both are forming a good pair so first of all we increment and this increment is 4 by 8,4 Now, after this, what is the next step? On incrementing the value of AI, BI, we just simply increment the value of B, I and AI. And its frequency will become 1. Because initially the frequency of 8 and 4 is 1. Now 4 and 8 frequency is 1. And similarly, uh, happen for the 1, 1. So after that, we get 1 and 1 right we get 1 and 1 our first step is add the answer so we just increment the answer value to 0 because 1 1 is not already present in the map after that we increment the value of 1 1 which is 1 And same when we again get the 1 1 when we again get the 1 1 we just increment it by 1 which is because of this particular 1 1 in comma 1 and uh, then we increment it comma 1 is incremented to 2 right because uh, the initial value is 1 and now it becomes 2 so after solving all this the final answer we get it will uh, is the number of means a good pairs right so let's code it so first of all we have this t taking the input iterating over it this is not the input, this is the number of missing the test cases. This n is the input. We create two arrays, first and second. Take the input from both of them. Create a map having pair and integer. Iterating over the whole uh, array, like i equals to 0 to n, and adding the value to the sum. First and second pair map value will be added to sum, and we are incrementing the value of second and first okay so and then we just out and then we just simply printing the sum so let's submit it the main idea of this question is just use of map we just have to make an observation simple submit it so this is the quote for the problem good pairs hope you all liked it thank you